What's up you guys, I'm here with a new video today and I'm here to actually do a card discussion video and you guys know I will only ever do these if I feel it's important, I feel that I don't care if every single Yugi tuber uploads a video about it, if I think my point is relevant on the topic I'm going to talk about it and this time it is, because uh, this time it's about one of my favorite decks and that's Dragoonity, a lot of people know that I love Dragoonity and you know, the deck has just been unplayable. Ever since Ravine got banned, even though I tried to rebuild it with my good friend Chris Welch, shout out to my boy Welchy, it's been really hard. Even Soul Charge did not give it enough oomph to make the deck good again. Even going Instant Fusion into um, that, that like, wind card and then going Phalanx and doing that stuff, that wasn't enough either. Uh, but now they have this new card called Dragoonity Spear of Destiny, and it says that... Uh, equipped it to a Dragoonity monster, gains attack equal to its level times 100. Also, it's unaffected by trap effects. Okay. During your main phase, you can equip one dragon type Dragoonity tuner monster from your deck to the monster equipped with this card. You can only use it once per turn. Okay. So, all that basically says is get Phalanx, equipped it, you're unaffected by traps, and nothing else. People need to understand that that card is not going to do anything. I don't know about you guys who've ever played Dragoonities. I have never had a problem getting Phalanx to Grave. We have three Dragon Shrines, a Foolish Burial. We have multiple ways to get the card to the graveyard. Um, that is literally like the easiest thing to do in the deck. Even, cards of Consonance. You know, we run two to three copies with Phalanx. It's very easy to get Phalanx into the grave. That is not the problem. That is not what Dragoonity needed. That did not do anything. Usually the only Dragoonity monster we're going into is Vajrana or Gay Durg. Gay Durg is usually our better option. For the main reason the point of this video is that the Sphere does not accomplish the number one thing that we are trying to accomplish. And that is get to Ducks. Ducks is your engine. Ducks Phalanx is your engine. If you cannot get to Ducks, you're not going to be able to do anything. Getting to Phalanx has never been the problem. It's getting to Ducks that's been the problem. And I don't know why people don't understand that. That I said it in my video before. There is no way we are able to search for Ducks outside of Gay Dirg. And honestly, the only play we had to make a Gay Dirg was to go Garuda the Wind Spirit and Phalanx to make the Six. A lot of times that's not even like doable. These days you'd have to do that or you'd have to go Insta Fusion into the guy and you'd already have to have the Phalanx. And that's to go Gay Dirig, use its effect, and then search Ducks. That's a good play, but it's too slow. It doesn't really accomplish that much. If you're not opening with the proper combo pieces, this Sphere card is going to do nothing for you. You know, what Dragoonity monster are you going to equip it to? How are you going to make your Vajrana? How are you going to make your Gay Dirig? And if you're making Gay Dirig, you're already doing what you need to do, and that's get to Ducks. Now, a lot of people were saying, oh, I wish Ravine could have came back. Don't say that. Rulers are still around. As long as rulers are around, they're not going to bring Ravine back. It's as simple as that. Because it's not about how much Dragoonies could abuse it. I fully believe, and I've talked over with people, if we had one Ravine, resolve it once, you're in a really good position with the deck. But other than that, right now, Dragoonity support, this, this is terrible. I'm really not impressed with this card. I wanted something better. I do really like the idea of being able to be unaffected by trap cards. That's really big, especially with all the back of everyone said. Yes, it's cool we can get to Phalanx a little bit earlier, but I don't know about you, but that was usually the easiest thing for me to do was to have an accessible Phalanx. But the number one problem is that we still are not getting to Ducks, and that is why I think this card is not that effective. But that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. I might be missing something, but I feel if you're not searching Ducks in the deck, you can have a Phalanx and Grave all day. If you got nothing to equip it to, who really cares? So that's just my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any Dragoonity players. I know Cyber Knight's a Dragoonity player. Shout out to you, bro. Want your opinion on it because honestly, like, we could have gotten something better. Like, you know, it would not make the deck broken if we could search Ducks. I'm not saying that at all. It would not make it broken at all with all the cards that are out. Soul Charge is that one now. So the deck is even more dead. People thought Soul Charge could be the card that could just, you know, bring back, bring it back to life. That is not the case anymore. The cards at one. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these, uh, these little, like, I guess, card rants, card reviews, whatever. Kind of like doing them, especially on a deck that I like. So uh, I just want to give my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Again, um, I'm hoping the audio is better on my iPad. I think I discovered what the problem was. I was using the, the, the YouTube capture uh, recorder system, and it fucking sucks. So I just used my regular camera recorder, and I'm just talking louder. So I don't know if that made a difference or not. Everyone says my uh, audio was good on my band list video yesterday, so let me know. Um, so if that's true, I'll be able to upload a lot more regularly. I'll be confident in the uh, audio and be able to get a lot more videos up for you guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you want me to do more discussions, let me know in the comments below. Leave your opinion. Uh, Dragoonity, you know. We're, right, we're exactly where we were uh, last format in the format before when we lost Ravine. So 
really nothing I can do yet. I can still try to hammer out a build, but I can't guarantee any results anymore. But uh, we're going to keep trying because I fully believe the deck's never going to, you know, maybe we'll get a ravine back one day when the rollers are gone, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, that was the video. Thank you for watching.